Hi, in this session, we will see how to put the field, uh, field level addition in the multiple program using the concept of chain and chain. So, chain and chain is a, is a processing chain, okay, between which we can either at field level we can have the different models for, uh, for validations or we can group together the multiple fields between chain and chain and we can uh, have a common model for checking the values if you want to put any validations so we can put in both the way either we can have separate check model for each field or we can group together multiple fields in common chain and chain model the advantage of using chain and chain so if there are any error message in the validation so it still system makes that field enable in edit mode so we can change the values if you are not using chain and chain then system gives the error message but the screen field become disappear we cannot edit the data so this is the advantage of chain and chain so we'll see how to put the validations on the screen so this is our screen so what we'll do we will check whether the pan card is entered or not and if it is entered the length should be 10 character second we'll put the validation if the state if the marital state is married then the spouse name is mandatory second third we will check the blood group so what will happen if you make by default this field as blood uh, as mandatory now we cannot leave the screen without entering the values we will see that also first go to the screen Go to layout we can also make the field mandatory by double click on the field and in the attribute in the attribute in the program we can make as a required field this is one method of making the field as mandatory field. Now let's see the impact of this. Go to the program, execute, execute the program. Now come back. Now, system is giving the error as fill all the required mandatory fields. Okay, now what we, what is the requirement? If user want to come back without saving the data, don't ask for mandatory fields. Okay, if user is saving the data, then only give the error message. Please enter the bank card. Now, as we are implemented exit command, so if you click on exit command, it still is giving the error message. So just put some value. Now it's coming back. So what is second method of doing this? Like we want to validate only when user is saving the data. Just remove this. Make as possible. Save and activate. Now here in the PAI model. chain make the chain and chain model like you can see here now we'll put our fields here gs underscore tmp underscore master field name is pan second let gs underscore tmp underscore master the field name which we want to check is this pause third field which we want to okay now let's say gs underscore emp underscore master doj 
now let's think we want to put a validation on those three number module field underscore so we have grouped together those three field in one chain and chain and we are processing this field validations model double click select the program now here again what we want only address if users has click on the save button they only we want to validate the case say you come when save so only if the cycle is saved, we want to check. Now, if gs underscore emp underscore master pan is initial message enter the pan card number which type of message you want to give? error message. Now, second thing what other validation we want see if pan card is initial give the error as enter the pan card number if pan card is not initial we will check the string value if pan card is the pan card number length is less than 10 again give the error message the first declare a variable data gv underscore length type i The first system will check if the pan card is initial it will give the error message if it is not initial this will check the length of that string if it is less than 10 because the pan card length must be 10 character just copy the code from here here what i'm doing we're checking the screen length of the field gs underscore EMP underscore master pan card field. The length will be in the length. If it is less than not equal to 10, pan card should be of length 10. So this is the first validation of pan card. Second, now if GS underscore EMP underscore master marital status equal to M and GS underscore EMP underscore master is pause is initial and if give the message as is pause name is mandatory for married employee what you want can okay, you want to give error message this pause name is mandatory for the married employee. A third validation will put for the date of joining. If GS underscore EMP underscore master day of joining is initial, and if give the message, please enter the date of joining. Again, put the type as E. So we have we have put multiple validations here. First validation is for the pan card. Second validation is for the marital status. If it is married, then the spouse name is, and if the spouse name is initial, then give the spouse name as mandatory error. And third, if date of joining is initial, then give the message as please enter date of joining go to our screen this is the inactive mode mode
this statement is not correct a similar statement okay remove s from here now check now it is okay activate so what we have done we have grouped together three fields under one chain and chain and validating all the values in this field here okay now go to a main program just activate it execute execute save okay now i'm not doing any changes here i just click on save button so first error what system is giving enter pan card number now even system has given the error message but this is still in the editable mode okay now i will just put uh, i will put the pan card number as a t t t i am putting only four character again i am pressing enter click on save so now the pan card should be of length 10 because we have put two validations there so now i will put complete validations a t p p k 37 okay now it is same character now we will select merit okay i am putting the response name as blank let me remove this join data joining also now again save now see what message i'm getting is pause name is mandatory for the married employee okay now the pan card is okay now system is giving secondary message now observe one point here as soon as the error message is coming my all the fields are in disable mode i can see only field in the editable mode date of joining spouse name and pan card why because in, in my chain and chain processing logic i have added those three fold three fields so all the three fields of same group are editable on the screen now let me enter the spouse name anything we can enter okay i can save now spouse name is okay pan card is okay it is giving message as please enter the date of joining so let me enter the date of joining now save you can see the data says successfully message here so like this way we can implement the field validation on the screen and the importance of chain and chain like all the fields in the same group are still editable on the screen in case of we are providing any error message we have, we have seen all the remaining field was in disable mode only those three field pan card spouse name and the date of joining was in editable mode so this is a good way of implementing a field validation on the screen by using the chain and chain processing in the paa model so we can add multiple type of any type of validations we can also have separate model validation for each field or we can group together multiple fields and check in common model thank you